Hi, my name is Bill Kaczewski with Code of Technology. I thought it might be helpful if we share some of the more common conversations we have with customers worldwide. Come across many opportunities where the incumbent sensor is a read switch. The read switch has been the de facto sensor of choice for many years, primarily because it requires no power. What we're seeing now though, and across all markets from industrial to consumer to medical, is the trend where the customer is looking to miniaturize or make portable a version of their current generation product. What this means is they're in need of a tiny sensor consuming little to no power, which is precisely why Coda developed the Red Rock sensor series. What I want to share are several slides we use when trying to help the customer connect read and Red Rock performance. In fact, many customers don't necessarily appreciate the relationship between AMP terms or AT used when describing read sensitivity in Gauss when used describing Red Rock sensitivity. And for reference, 1 AT or AMP turn is equivalent to 2.5 G or Gauss. I'll spend a little extra time on the second slide to orient you as the subsequent slides follow the same layout. Shown are the distances between the read and Red Rock sensor in a typically used N42 neodymium magnet for both release and operate sensitivity limits. In this scenario, the sensitivity of the read switch is 1040 AT, which is quite common in the industry. The sensitivity for the Red Rock sensor is a 3020 Gauss. What are shown are the min and max limits for the read and Red Rock sensor. In general, the higher the sensitivity, the further the distance, which gives more flexibility to the design engineer, which we'll explain further. In this scenario, you can see both perform similarly when it comes to magnetic distance. Specifically, the 10 AT read switch has a release distance of 37 millimeters and an operate distance of approximately 34 millimeters. While comparing this to the Red Rock 3020 Gauss operate and release distances of 38 and 33 millimeters respectively. In other words, a customer can easily achieve similar performance in magnetic distance with a Red Rock sensor. However, the additional benefits of the Red Rock sensor is the inherent higher reliability due to no mechanical operation. A much tighter sensitivity range is shown in the min-max limits. This is particularly important to the customer as they are always asking read suppliers to supply tighter AT ranges, which quickly translate into higher costs as the read supplier now has to find homes for that yield or fallout when testing for tighter tolerances. Also depicted in the slides is the much smaller and easier to handle Red Rock package. In the end, this all translates into a more predictable, robust, and lower cost solution to your customer. With your customer becoming a little more comfortable with Red Rock and the TMR technology, you now move to slide three. Illustrated in slide three is the increased magnetic power or distance achieved when moving to a 9.5 Gauss Red Rock sensor. When compared against the same 10 AT read switch, which is one of the most sensitive available, the release and operate distances are almost doubled. Alternatively, if the increased distance is not needed, the customer now has the option of reducing the magnetic strength of the magnet. As shown on slide four, the higher magnetic power or higher sensitivity allows the customer to reduce the size of their magnet. And in this scenario, which is a very typical one, the magnet size can be reduced by almost 50%, which depending on how much they're paying for the magnet could translate into at least 50% savings. Slide five is provided as it communicates the same information by comparing the magnetic lobes of the read and red rock sensors which is also very helpful when presenting the increased sensitivity benefits. In fact, some of our partners have used this slide when promoting Red Rock on their website or via eBlast. Slide six summarizes the benefits when considering a Red Rock sensor over a read switch. Again, we find ourselves using these slides to help provide a visual of the actual Red Rock performance when comparing to the read switch. We encourage you to use this slide deck next time when visiting with your customer so they can easily and immediately appreciate the benefit of increased sensitivity. If your customers should require additional technical support when considering Red Rock, we encourage you to contact Koto Application Engineering. Thanks a lot.